Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to get started on your transformer projects. First thing you want is you want to have this handout in front of you guys. Please read through it carefully and then you make sure you want to be familiarized with the criteria, the assignment what you have to do to be able to get an A. So do that and you should have the handout and you guys know where to get those. Then I'm going to open up AutoCAD. <coughs> And the first thing we always do in AutoCAD is I will change the units and to architectural. I'll turn a couple things off that I don't want to use. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up the layer properties. And I want to create a couple layers here. And I'll show you what we're going to do with those in a little bit. But for now, let's create two new layers. Okay, One of them we will actually call transformer and the other one we will call image you can call it photo picture whatever but we need two separate layers we want to give those two layers two different colors and the reason we do that with AutoCAD is because we want to know when we're on those layers when I start drawing now pink lines I'm gonna know okay wait a minute that's the image line that might not be the layer that I want to be on so Transformer line. I'm going to change this to something bright, and you'll see why here in a little bit. But red is a good start, yellow might work, green, but something big and bright. Okay, and we can change that layer later, color layer. That should be enough to get us started. And then what we need to do for this project is we need to do a little bit of research. So I'm actually going to open up the internet. And we need to find something that we want to draw. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be a transformer. For example, I could, and I'm going to switch to images. I could do Wally. -E. And any of these pictures would be great pictures to use. But to make things easy on myself, I'm actually going to go to the More, or I'm sorry, Search Tools. And that brings up these extra guys down here and any type, and I'm going to change it to a line drawing. And that's going to make my life a little easier. And I recommend that you do that at least for the first one that you do. And then you can decide who you want to do. I'm going to use this guy right here. looks pretty good to me. Now, first thing I want to do, I go over here to full size image. And I want to look at this and go, okay, that's a nice big image to work with. If I had a little image right here when I hit full size, that might be too small for me to work with. But this guy should be fine. So I'm going to right click on him. I'm going to go save picture as, and then of course we are going to go to Gavin Myers, my documents, drafting one, again, should be here, and Wally. -E. Perfect, I'll save it right there. Okay. And let's go back to AutoCAD. So I'm going to switch my layers, and I'm going to go my layers to my image layer. Okay. And I'm going to type in a command called IM. And that's for image, should pop up right here. And what this does is allows me to insert different things into AutoCAD. And I want, it, by default, it wants to do a DWG, which is the AutoCAD file, but I don't want to do an AutoCAD. I'm going to pull this little arrow down and I'm going to go attach image. Okay, now it asks me what image do I want to attach. Again, we'll direct it by going to our names under computer, my documents my drafting file, drafting one, there I am, and there's Wally, and I'll hit open. And when you get this box, you can hit OK, and you get something along these lines. Now, I'm going to click somewhere, and I'll drag it and make it big enough to look at. There we go. There's Wally. I can now close this. I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to switch my layer. So the pink, it's pink on the outside because that is our image layer. And I'm going to switch it now to our transformer layer. I want to make sure I'm on that transformer layer. And now what I could do is I can actually zoom in to Wally -E and use my line tool. Oh, escape. I actually might in this case use polyline tool, but you guys can go back and forth between what you want to use. And the reason I might use polyline tool is because I'm going to want to do some arcs. So I use PL or click on the polyline tool. And I can click right here. And the reason I use the polyline is because I am going to need to do some marks. I might want to zoom out a little bit. A. Get 
L for a second. And then again, A, all I'm doing here is specify next point or, and I'm choosing A for arc to get these curves. And turning on my object snap. Oops, make sure I turn on my object snap. There we go. I end it right there. Okay, I can use my circle tool. You can begin to guess about where the center is. And try and draw his eyes. Of course, if I'm off a little bit, I could always use the move tool. And I might turn object snap off for a second here. Move a little bit. And I can then trace these guys. And such. Okay. I can then move into here. I want to zoom in. I can trace. To get that hand, all I'm doing is pushing down on the scroll bar, and it gives me the hand. Now, you do want to make sure you are using object snap in here because it is important that you're getting your lines to touch other lines, meet at corners. And such because when you go back and hatch it, you're going to want to get make sure you've made those preparations, otherwise, your life is going to be really hard. So, I am using I got my nearest turn on, I got my ends turned on, and so forth. And I can begin to train it now. What is nice, and part of the reason why we did different layers, is because now when I want to check my progress, I can always go in here and I can actually turn off my image layer and take a look at what I've done. Eventually, once you finish this up, you'll want to turn off your image layer because all you want here is your trace layers and so forth. So, turning that back on for a second, let's pretend like I finished Wally -E to move on to my next one because you do need to do three of these. I could do another one of Wally, -E, another view of Wally, -E, or I could do a completely different thing. But I'll change my layers back to image. I'm going to bring in another image. I am for image. I again, I'm going to go to image. Uh, this time points me to my folder I was last in. I'm going to pick up one that I've already set up, Optimus Prime. Okie dokie. And I can put Optimus over here. And then I could do the same thing, switch back to my transformer layer. And I could zoom in. And I could start tracing Optimus Prime. And so forth. There you go. That should be enough to get you guys started on this project. Again, you'll do three of these. Again, make sure you are doing good, practicing good layer management skills. It might even be nice, once you get done with this, to even create another layer here. And maybe you just call this color. And you can change this back to whatever color you want it to be uh, white or black, whatever. And, and this is the layer you use when you're actually coloring your transformers and so forth. And that's the kind of management that I like to do. Typically in an AutoCAD drawing that a professional is using, they will sometimes have up to a hundred different layers, maybe even more. Every single thing they do is represented with a layer. And because of that reason, they can turn them off, turn them on, depending on what they want to look at in their drawings. There you go. You guys have fun.